Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how to trace circuits. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna take you through just how I do it, some tips and tricks, because just because you have the same tool, the same method, it doesn't always work the same. There's a couple things that I've picked up on over the years that have really helped me just to make sure that it's the easiest and the smoothest. So stick around for those, but I'll take you guys through it. We'll trace out a couple circuits. I'll let you guys in on some secrets. Let me know down in the comments what circuit tracer you like the best, if there's one that's stood out above the rest. And let me know down in the comments what kind of how-to videos you wanna see next. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna say shout out to Marquette, our sponsor for today's video. Without them, we wouldn't be able to produce videos like this all the time. So if you're looking for a way to step up and professionalize your business, check out Marquette. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, but you can schedule, you can send invoices and quotes so quickly, so easily. It saves all your numbers, all from an app on your phone or online. It really keeps everything so organized and I really do enjoy using it. I personally, I use it, I love it. That's why they're a sponsor of this channel. There's a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. But now let's get onto it. All right, so the circuit tracer we're gonna be using for today, it's the one I use the most frequently. I've got a couple others, but this one, it's just so easy to use. It's this one here from Klein. It's so affordable, it's so user-friendly, and it just comes in a little package like this. It's got such a sleek design. I also don't have to worry about damaging the most expensive piece of equipment ever. I can keep this in a bag. This just pops out here and it's a GFI checker so you can like check your outlets, make sure everything's wired well. It's a two in one. Um, but when you plug that in, we'll show you here in just a second, you can go and you check the panel from here. So obviously this one, this portion of it, the GFI portion of it, the power for this plug-in comes from the actual circuit. You cannot trace dead circuits with this. This is for tracing live circuits. Super useful. We end up doing this all the time to make sure we turn off the right circuits when we need to. But the other end of this is got it's battery powered and it comes with it. It's lasted for a long time. I actually still haven't changed this one out. Let's go ahead and trace out an outlet back here behind me. We'll go ahead, see just where it lands and I'll show you guys from the panel then how I trace it, what it looks like, give you guys some great tips. All right, so we've got this. Just take off this end of things. Go ahead and plug it into this outlet here. All right, so it, it does light up so you can see that it's hooked up correctly. That's not what we're using it for in this application, but we'll go ahead, head over to the panel and I will show you guys just how we trace out to find out this circuit, what it is. And this is something that we would do if we were changing out an outlet, doing something like that, we needed to know and turn off a circuit I know that it's in this panel here because uh, we're in the same room. You're gonna have to make sure that you have the right panel. But from there, we just grab the circuit tracer, hold the button, it starts beeping green, super easy. Now, this is where people can mess it up because if we look at this, when it beeps red, we know that we're on the right circuit. Now the issue is it beeps red on these top couple breakers. So watch what happens now when I move it along the side here instead of actually on the breaker. Okay, so that's how we know. Like when I, when I come over top of this one here, it completely just starts beeping, doesn't stop. Go right past it, nothing, okay? Obviously it starts beeping a little bit quicker, a little bit faster to know you're closer, but we get nothing on this side when we're off to the side. When we're on it, we get a pretty vicious beep and it's telling us that it's there when it's obviously not. So that is one of the things. So we'll go ahead. When I flip that breaker off, you can see the noise stops completely. And that's how we know that we actually got the right breaker. So we'll go ahead, flip that back on and it starts beeping again immediately. So. Since that's the circuit that we traced, obviously we would turn it off from that point, lock out, tag out for whatever's appropriate for the situation, but that's how we trace that out. So we'll go ahead and go find another section uh, and go to a different panel and kind of let you guys see the exact same thing one more time. So different room, different setup. This right here is the circuit tracer. We're gonna plug that in, it lights up. We'll go ahead and head over to the panel 
go ahead trace this one out i'll show you guys another example and then i'll tell you guys a little bit more about this one and why i like it okay so this is the panel i know that this is the panel um i don't know what circuit it is exactly so we'll go ahead and test we'll go run it over the breakers so we can get a little bit of a, a feel for it so we know it's up top it's one of these two because it beeped on both sides and so now that we've they're actually the ones that are crossed from one another, which is why it's beeping. But we'll go ahead and run it over. And once we get it locked on, when we go over the other side, it beeps, but not the same. It's not actually constantly going off. So I'm going to guess it's this one right here. There's only one way to find out, though. So let's go ahead. We'll turn it back on. Beeps hard, right? But when we get it over top of the actual one, it doesn't beep as hard on that side. So we'll go over it. Boom, we flip that breaker off and nothing else is beeping. So that is that is the one we know that we let it kind of get a feel for what that signal is like. And then from there, now that one was ran on the breakers. It was not off to the side. Some panels are gonna be different, but as you guys know, this, this is what your panel at home is gonna look like. Not that smaller one that was a sub panel, but this is exactly what it'll look like at a house, most businesses, things like that. Let's talk about this baby right here. Get down to the details. Okay, so you may still be wondering, how do I trace circuits then that aren't outlets? And the answer is this baby right here, it unplugs and there are, and there are attachments that go into this that give it gator clips, claw clips. What do they call them? But either way, it comes in and, and you can attach it to the wires and then from there it activates the same way. There's also an attachment that will, you can plug this into it and it screws in like a light bulb so you can trace lighting circuits or like I said, the other one with the claw clips with the wires. So that way you can just trace plain wires at the same time. Now the reason why I like this one so much is because it's not $500. It's super affordable, okay? The other circuit tracers, yes, they're gonna be more accurate and you can get those, but I'm telling you guys, as far as day-to-day -day use, this is the one that I like to use because I can throw this in my bag and I don't have to worry about keeping it in a hard case. I don't have to keep worry about protecting it with my life because I can replace it very easily. I don't have to worry about damaging it. It's very versatile. I am gonna end up keeping an outlet checker anyway. So it's like, why not put on the extra portion here and just keep something so I can trace circuits so easily every time. The last thing you wanna be doing, especially when people are in the building or whenever you're just at home, you don't wanna be turning off a bunch of circuits, looking all over. It's the easiest, fastest way. Like I said, affordable, super slim, slender. You can put it in your bag and carry it around all the time. It's lightweight. That is why I like this one so much. Just adds so much versatility so easily. But if you guys wanna see what else I keep inside of my tool bag every day, go ahead and head up to this video here. Check it out. There's some cool stuff in there that I think you guys are gonna like. Remember, it's all for his glory. I'll see you guys on the next one.